Hey everybody, it is a gorgeous Sunday and I got something cool to show you. This isn't it, this is my old Zit camera bag which I've done several reviews on that you guys can see on my channel. It's been a really great bag, it has not broken, it's still in great condition and I use it constantly. But I got something in the mail today that I want to show you guys. Now admittedly it doesn't have a very good name, it's called the Abony CDRL BP slash CZ. It's going to be in the link in the description below, so you don't have to worry about remembering that. But I'm wearing it right now on my back, and I want to go ahead and show it to you. I'm really excited about it, quite honestly, because it claims to also be waterproof, uh, which I wouldn't claim waterproof. I would certainly claim weatherproof, and I've seen why, and I'm excited to tell you why. I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. It's got two straps. Keep it nice on you, so if you're a kind of hiking kind of individual, then you can have it that way. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. It is not a sling. It is a normal bag. If you want a sling, I still like my Zit camera bag, but plan to put much, much less in it. This bag is really great because of its size. Very reasonable. Very, very reasonable size. It's not huge, not too big, not too small. I can open it up for you here in the front pocket. And you'll be able to see that there's room, plenty of room, as well as really great cushioning to put something like a tablet in there or even a small laptop, maybe a 15 inch tab uh, computer, which I have not tried yet, but I do have one. And if you're curious, ask down below and I'll let you know once I try it out. Great pocket in here, lots of excellent stuffing in there to keep things protected. I am definitely pleased with that. Two small pockets here. Um, this zipper only goes down so far though, so that's not completely visible but two pockets right here, two tiny ones. You could probably put um, uh, maybe cases for memory cards or simple things like that, some paperwork, maybe a passport if you're gonna use it for travel. Uh, two areas for little pens, which who uses those these days? I do, don't, don't, talk, don't even worry about that. And then there's a great pocket right here in the front here that looks like it goes all the way down to the very bottom of the bag right down here. On the front here, we got some great little straps. I love how reflective they are. Uh, well, maybe not reflective, but certainly visible, very bright. It does look like there is some reflective uh, stuff on the front of this. I do like these, though, because I do think that I can actually take some of my quads, some of my race quads, and mount them on here. So if I want to do some really crazy fast video, I can actually mount them on here and have them handy, which is really great. There's also a very cool loop at the bottom. not really certain what this would be good for, but I can definitely see maybe you can clip some different stuff to it. Uh, maybe if you're a person who rides a bike and you want to clip your bike helmet to this or something like that, that's also a great possibility. Now, I was immediately wondering, where on earth, how on earth do you get into the bag where you would store your lenses and your cameras? Something that I found very interesting about this bag is that it's actually on the back side. And it's underneath the straps that would go over your shoulders. And one thing that I liked about that is you can see that the zippers are actually right here. And when you put this on your back, they tuck in to the inside of the bag. They basically disappear. Two good things I see about that. Someone robs your bag, steals it from you, don't know where that zipper is, maybe they might not find it. Second thing, weatherproofing. How great is that? You're not gonna be having stuff seeping in there because it's all inset inside the bag, literally being sealed in by you wearing the bag. I think that's excellent. If I open up the zipper here, this whole door falls down, opens up quite wide, obviously. There's a pocket here that's very open. They have extra folds in there to make it even wider, so you could probably put some electronics, maybe power supplies, things like that in there. They have this interesting mesh right here, which I think is a really great idea, because if you open up this bag like this, all this stuff could come tumbling out. So this little mesh went right here with these two zippers, really great. I'll open that up, and that shows you then all the felt on the inside that when I got the bag was just completely just put in there and then you have to choose where you want to put it. So it's just laid in there and you rip it out and then you have to assemble it yourself in the configuration that you want. With this configuration, I could easily fit one, two cameras with lenses on, plus room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra lenses. That's really great. I don't carry that much myself personally, but if I did, it'd be grand. So I do think that that's gonna be great because I can put um, microphones, lamps, um, extra filters, um, a gray card, a whole bunch of everything in here that's going to fill that up really nice and I think that's going to be fantastic. Um, something else I was wanting personally in a bag, which I did not have in my previous Zit camera bag, uh, was the ability to actually take a tripod or a monopod and not have to carry it with me in my hands but have a place on my bag to put it. 
Uh, there is a pocket over here, but there's no way to mount it on this side. So there is a nice deep pocket here where you could maybe put a bottle of water or something of that nature. But on the opposite side right here, you can see that there's that same pocket on the other side with an extra strap, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So you can take your tripod or your monopod, stick it within the pocket. Pocket does have mesh, which could rip up over time, but underneath at the very bottom, as you can see, there is a cloth fabric. So that means it will have a little bit of protection on the very bottom. And then once you have that in there, simply take this, which has a very nice long extra extension there. So you can, you'll have plenty of room to at least put one tripod in there and you can just lock it and your tripod is gonna stay in there nice and firm. And it's not gonna move around. I love it, I love it. The straps on this thing are ridiculously thick. That's gonna be amazing for comfort if you like doing hiking. Some very strong belts on here. The ability to strap it to your chest to make sure it doesn't go flying around while you're hiking or whatever. There's extra loops for maybe putting other extra stuff in there. I, I think that this bag is an excellent quality. Um, I bought it uh, two days ago while it was during a flash sale. It was on sale for $55. It's usually between $80 and $90 according to Amazon. The link is in the description below. So if you want to get a bag like this for yourself, go take a look. They have a whole bunch of different colors. I like this one, kind of military color with a nice big vibrant green straps. I really like that. And uh, that's about it guys. Some nice foot padding on the bottom so that you don't have the fabric touching the ground exactly by itself, which I think is going to make the bag a little bit more durable. That's about it. In comparison to the Zit camera bag, the sizing is a little bit larger, but considering all the extra room that you have, I think that's actually quite a benefit. Um, the depths seem about the same, but I think I can definitely fit much longer and taller lenses in here vertically and not horizontally along the bag. Not to mention I can easily fit two, three, four back cameras in here. And I mean cameras like GoPros, um, my Canon T5i, my Sony A3000, and all of the different accessories that would go with them, chargers and things like that. With this one, you got your little pockets here on the side, and you can see all my other reviews that I've already done on this bag. Big pocket here with a little bit of a mesh in the, in the inside of that pocket, and things of that nature. You can see that on my other reviews. So, this bag is still gonna come in handy. It's still in perfect condition. It has lasted me for however long it was that I made that video, I think it's turned out really, really great and it's still lasting beautifully. This guy though is gonna be my new workhorse, I think, because, oops, just got hit by a bug. <laughs> but I think that this is gonna be really great and especially the fact that it's a bit more waterproof or weatherproof, I think that I can trust to put my equipment in it and feel free to leave it out if it's raining a little bit. I'm not gonna freak out as much as I may with it in this little tiny bag. All right, so I absolutely love when I find little things after I get done recording stuff, because then that means I get to come to you guys and tell you even more about what I found. So this bag that I've already told you is pretty awesome. I realized something uh, after looking through the footage that I was editing for the video, and here's what I found. Um, I told you guys already about this side, where it's got the pocket, where you th then you can put like a tripod in the pocket and then strap it here with the strap. But what if you got one of those big, super professional um, tripods that is super heavy or, or just really, really big and tall, kind of like my monopod, my Benro monopod that we haven't done a review yet, but I would like to. What would you do? And I was noticing if you saw in the video, there was this little line of green on the bottom here, on the bottom part of this. Check this out. This is really, really cool. This is actually another pocket. And you reach into the pocket and you pull out another pocket and it's literally a pocket to hold a tripod so if you have a longer tripod you can fit it in this little pocket so so a longer tripod won't fall out and conversely here's a tiny little extra hidden pocket down here now it's not very not very thick at all so you're not putting much in there at all but it's really really great that that it actually goes all the way to the opposite side of the bag. And it's got a lot of thick material in there, so that means you could put something in there that maybe, I don't know how you would strap something down, but there is Velcro on the top and on the bottom here, so if you wanted to put something in there, I don't know what you would put in there, external hard drives or something like that. It seals it right up with that Velcro. That's so cool. And um, something I did mention before, and I'll go ahead and take this little cool little pocket, I'll tuck it back inside here where it belongs and there's velcro on the top of that pocket as well 
and now the pocket is safely stowed away as if it was never there. How cool is that? So, thank you so much for watching TNC Reviews. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and please share this with a friend. That means a lot to me. The link is in the description below if you want to go take a look at this bag for yourself on Amazon. Thank you for all your amazing support. You guys really don't know what you do for this channel. I will see you guys next time. God bless. Have fun with all your technology.